here's a quick tutorial about how to make uh, bitmap LEDs and the funny little quirks uh, attached to this process. There will be a library of uh, LEDs to use and you probably won't need to make um, your own LEDs but this will show you how to make customised ones for your specific purpose and it will also show you how to set them properly. So what we're going to do is make a very simple bitmap uh, LED and I'll just show you the whole process. We'll just start, we'll select the rectangle, we're not going to do anything very fancy and we'll just drag it to any size that we like. Um, now we're going to make this a, a surround around an, a button so we want to make the, a part of the middle here uh, transparent so the button will appear through it so we now get another square we just drag it somewhere over the top like so it's the same color so you can't see it so we'll make it white okay and we'll just get it roughly into position now what we haven't explored is actually labeling uh, LEDs which is another option which I think would be good so in this case we're going to give it a label we'll call it um, S spin ball on actually I'll call it spindle off and then OK and we'll just put that over the top like that now I could fuss around getting everything to position but I'm not going to worry too much in this example now we're going to have the background transparent now we, we do have that white even though it's the same white as there this is not transparent so what we need to do is cut that, that square out of this red uh, square so we'll select the red square first hold down the shift key select the white square you'll see one two and then we'll just go to um, uh, subtractive uh, subtract object so we'll just press that now you'll notice nothing much looks like it's changed but just to give you an example of what the, the white square is transparent I'll just put another square here and make it green and we'll send it to the back you'll now notice that it's actually transparent okay so we'll just delete that now we want to make this into a group so just drag over the whole lot and create package you'll now see that it's all together the unusual thing about LEDs is it's not two individual uh, bitmaps to denote the on and off state it's actually one and Mac will um, cross from one side to the other I'll show you in a second exactly what I mean so what we'll do is we'll now make a copy of that so we'll just drag it off and then drag it on you'll now see we've got another copy we need to be able to position these um, very accurately so what we'll do we'll drag out a grid line here and let's just uh, drag it to zero if you notice um, it's very hard to know exactly from the top of the grid but down the bottom down here these numbers will show you uh, exactly where you um, where you've dragged it so what I'm going to do is I'll drag it again and watch those numbers down below now we'll put it on to zero and we'll just get the overall dimension of that one which the dimensions are down here it's 160 by 103 just for even numbers we'll make it 100 and then press enter uh, just so we've got even numbers now so we know 160 wide so we need to drag out another grid line uh, 160 so we'll drag it out looking at the bottom and drop it at 160 and we'll also drag one from the top and make drop that onto zero which is up here okay 
Now what we'll do also do is we'll press file, oh, sorry, edit, snap to grid lines. So it is going to snap to grid lines. And you'll notice when I drag this, it will actually snap to the grid line. So we'll just do that quickly here. And it snapped to the grid line. Uh, even though there's a bit of a, a white border, it's actually snapped that whole package to the grid line. So this is very important. I'll, I'll explain as we go. Now with this one here, we also want to snap this to the grid line. So we'll snap it there. Did it snap? Yep. Okay. Oh, that's right. I didn't make that one six uh, one hundred. So 100, enter. Now you'll see they're both uh, in exactly the same position according to the grid lines. Now we know that the width of one is 160, so we double that to um, 320, so and, and it's 100 wide, or oh, sorry, deep. So we'll actually now have to select the project uh, so size that we want to export it out to. So if we were just to export this out, we'd get that and this white area, but we don't want that. So we'll go to project, size and color, and we know that the height is 100, and we know that the width is double this, which I think we said was 320 from memory. Okay, and there we go. We've now got the the perfect um, shape for a uh, picture that we want to export. But obviously, we don't want to export both states looking the same. So we're going to change this to green. Now we've packaged it. You could unpackage it, or you can actually double click on it fast, and that way you can edit the package the uh, red rectangle and we'll now make that green and double click the text and we'll just put an in there and okay once you finish that just select okay here and there we go we've now got um, an on off state uh, which is a bit different because it's actually giving you a label as well, telling you exactly what what's happening. So just to export it, uh, bitmap export. You've got options up here. Well, we want this background to be transparent, so we're going to go for transparent PNG. Don't use the transparent GIF option. Uh, just transparent PNG. You'll now see that these are actually transparent. And then we export it. And we just call it lead frame or whatever you want to call it. And then save it. You'll remember in the other videos that you have to actually save all your bitmaps to the Mac bitmap folder in order to use them. So I hope this tutorial has helped and the main, I, the main thing I, I really wanted to highlight was the uh, actual snap to grids and getting the exact position. Um, and just in case it wasn't obvious before, um, it's even though it's one bitmap, uh, the, the original state of the unselected lead will be, this will show just this section and once it is selected it will then only show that section so that should um, set you on the path to making your own LEDs